welcome to Teachers Off Duty. If you've never joined us before, my name is Rebecca Rogers. I am R Rogers World on all of my social media accounts. I am Tell Williams or Mr. Williams Pre-K on all social media accounts. I forgot camera and then I double chinned it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Mr. Williams Spreck. Spreck. My name is Bree Richardson, Honest Teacher Vibes across all social media platforms. And I'm Lauren Woolley, Mrs. Woolley in fifth. I feel like we say all social media platforms like... But no one actually knows in a what general that means. sense, we are all on all social yeah. media platforms. I feel Facebook, weird repeating TikTok, it for the fourth Instagram, time. Instagram, YouTube, all follow of me, the things. Follow me on YouTube because it sucks. Listen, as we speak, I literally need like 37 more until I get 300,000 subscribers. So like, oh, let's go on YouTube. 000. Yay, that is so exciting. I'm I know like, that this um, isn't live, but like I'm cute. pretend it is. And then by the end, I'm going to check again. Like a telethon, I'm going to check. <laughs> a <laughs> telethon? <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is Wait, it? Wait, is that where you call yeah. and like beg for money? Yeah, on the phone. Like NPR does like a telethon every spring. But we're doing it for followers. But does anybody ever actually answer the phone when? No. It's like the extended car warranty people. Who is doing this? Who is getting their car warranty extended? The teacher off duty telethon. Telethon. Oh, tell. Oh my god. Ah, But for followers, not money. (laughs) Right. Teachathon. I want money. What you mean? Not for money. You get. You'll get that from the platforms. No, they don't need it from the people. Run me my coin. We're gonna table this. Telethon well, idea. Okay. We're, we're, gonna back. Circ- we're gonna circle yeah, we're back. Circle back. We're gonna circle back yeah, next table meeting. This, circle table this, this discussion. Circle I wish back. I had a dollar for every time we've said that this weekend. I just wanted to say thank you for being such a great leader. Well, such so a gl- I'm so glad we have such great leadership on our team. What are you talking about? Why? I'm just because we said circle back. That's like a business thing to I say. Right, yeah. And we're just so thankful for the Tell us talking about mimosas this morning. Circle back to those. <laughs> I was, wasn't Mimosas I? in the morning. Well, mimosas we know, in the morning. We know that one of your favorite things that we always bring to the table, as we're bringing back into the table, <laughs> is <laughs> stories. And we know you guys really wanted more silly student stories. And so wow, we thought child. we'd do an entire episode just talking about these kids making our hair go and gray. And boy, do we have some stories. <laughs> so much to go first. I will go first. Okay, because go ahead. I was genuinely disturbed by this. Okay. So y'all know how like you your kids are working on stuff and like middle school kids, they just randomly blurt out stuff. Absolutely. Y'all's kids do that? High school yes. kids do high school kids 100%. do that? Like the, okay, just all kids. They in say the, the yes. They just blurt out the stuff. The weirdest thing. They're yeah. into making stuff. noises currently. Right. It's uh, animal noises. It's like, noises. Is there a cow in here? Yeah, it's weird. I shouldn't ask that because they're like, Maybe. <laughs> no. Like, You're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was, the kids were working on their bell work. I was trying to put attendance in or whatever. And this kid goes, Ms. Richardson, like they call your name. I'm like, why y'all calling my name? Like, oh, y'all some money. Like you, <laughs> like it stresses me out when y'all, why you got to scream my name? Just say miss richardson but they don't know how to do that so he like miss richardson i'm like bro what he like ain't it true that if you play with a dead person's ashes they'll come back they'll come back to haunt you boy (laughs) (laughs) you're supposed to be doing your bell work number one number two the only reason you would ask that question is because you've been playing with somebody's ashes. <laughs> I said, friend, I, first of all, I don't know. Second of all, I've not sat and thought about the ramifications behind playing with somebody's ashes. Like, who is that? Like, I'm, I'm, in my mind, I'm like, okay, first of all, who's ashes? Right. Second of all, right. like, when you play with them, did you scoop it, like, with a measuring cup or you sprinkled it a little bit? Like, where, who... Where the ashes at? Oh, they right. probably got out like their sand castle building kit and right. like packing it in little sand castle. Mama, y'all playing with Mama. She, <laughs> <laughs> Mama's ashes are on the floor. But she like, gets to live for one more day. You but know? Mama's living in a castle now. Yeah, <laughs> she sure is. That I was disturbed so by, I was disturbed by that. I was like, why would he just randomly be thinking that at 7.50 in the morning? I would have and looked at his morning. fingers to see if they were dusty. Be like, <laughs> see, the paper's covered kids. in dust. You're, you're so black and your, yeah. your fingertips are gray. What's going on here? Like, don't worry about it. But those young kids talk all the time about like, oh, my friend or my imaginary friend. No, or like, you know, you've had a lot of stories you. when like kids have thought they've seen a ghost or something like that. So if a kid asked me that, like, who had a lot of stories? You did. No, I didn't. I only had you one did. Story you kid you had another them. story about like, oh, my aunt kept me up all night. Oh, like, shoot, oh, yeah. can you tell her not to be to, quiet? Like, to be quiet? No, she's, she's dead. dead. <laughs> these, Get out. Go to the council right now. Kids have so many stories about being haunted that gives me anxiety. Like that's the one thing that would be like scared you me. I need to go and pray. You need to go pray, really pray for my soul. Oh, yeah. my if, if you don't, we need to if, cleanse the classroom. If right. you don't know this story, again, the, I know y'all are going to get tired of me saying this, but literally people send me their stories from all over the country. So 
this lady was like, one, she was talking to one of her kindergartners. And the girl was like, I'm just so sleepy. And the teacher was like, did you not get any sleep last night? And she was like, no, because my aunt was in the kitchen, like washing dishes and banging pots and pans around. And she was like, well, couldn't, could you not go to the kitchen and like ask your aunt to be quiet? I can't. She's dead. <laughs> what? What? And then no, another kid no. said. And it's very matter of fact. Took, oh, no. She no, did. they're very. And another kid was like, sometimes like kindergartners, they just walk up and say stuff oh, they like sure random do. stuff. So she walked up to her teacher and was like, sometimes <laughs> I feel the spirits of my dead family members around me girl no, go to the no. counselor see my, i have I someone that bad story. juju on me yeah i don't need i my favors i had a child come <laughs> up to me one time counselor. and it's like mr mr wilwoms and i said because they never can say the double l's i don't know why mr wilwoms i said yeah and he was like sometimes it's just like we we have to think because of all the voices and i was like oh no oh my god i don't feel good right now voices. <laughs> so i had it wasn't necessarily a funny story. It was more yeah. like a creepy story, you know? I, I had a, I also have teachers send me from all over the world right, stories right, right, that right, they right. experience. And this one teacher, you know, um, said that she got an email that a student's family member had passed away yeah. and that they were going to be out, going to the funeral, things right, like right, right. that. And so when the student came back, she made sure to check in with her. How right, are you right, doing? Right. Just wanted to check in you. Oh, I've had the best week. I've been spending so much quality time with my grandmother, who she knew the grandmother was the one that passed away. She's, we've been having slumber parties and sleepovers, and she, we've been hanging out. And it's just been it's been really nice to spend that time with her. Maybe I a funeral is not a sleepover. My, my, face, <laughs> right, this, like, my like, face this whole episode so far has been... Ugh. No, like she... she she genu- so. like like I don't know if she was dreaming about her, She's but all these it, yeah. kids have all these stories about, about like seeing ghosts and stuff. That scares right. me. So that good. scares me. I think me. you dream about your loved ones. Of the fact, when my dad passed away, I dreamed about my dad all yeah, the time, and it made it feel that. it made mm-hmm. it feel like my dad would like we right. were hanging out. It's so like she might have dreamed about. I don't know. My yeah, mom always talks about this one thing that happened to her, mm-hmm. and that's why it really freaks me out. Like yeah. So my mom, when my great grandmother passed away, in the middle of the night my mom and like this was at a completely different state you know right, my right, mom's right. family's in louisiana we were right. in north carolina and the night that my great-grandmother passed away my mom woke up in the middle of the night and just felt like not in a, like it's gonna sound creepy but not in a creepy way just felt like someone was there right 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 and she has no idea why but she like called out her name like like mariah like yeah or, what and thought like it was just a weird sensation and she just rolled over and went back to sleep and found out the next morning oh, that she had passed away yeah. at the time that my mom woke up. Right. And so these, these like, if no, these, these were yeah. 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 So, so, like, maybe she was dreaming about n- her. N- maybe. I don't know. So what I learned r- is um, children are possessed. Yeah. Right. right. <laughs> they show act we, like they possess. We're going to we're gonna leave uh, ghost talk for a moment. Uh, no, uh, no. So <laughs> when, uh, this, it's, it's a student story, but it's actually a student story about my siblings. So my sister Natasha, when she she was uh, in kindergarten. No, yeah, kindergarten or first grade. She got to put on uh, the play Little Red Riding Hood mm-hmm. for Barbara Bush. Like Whoa. came to the school and watched it. Wow. Okay. So in in my younger sister's mind, then so I'm the middle child. So in my younger sister's mind, she was like, "Oh, you can see presidential people every single day." So Kimberly, the, the, my younger sister, had an assignment, and she was like, "Okay, so." We had they had to invite someone to school lunch and they had to like, write the little letter and draw a picture of them. Right. She comes into to it was the school lunch day. Some people like said like the mayor or like my mom or something. So like mm-hmm. some people actually showed up that the kids requested. Kim comes home and she's hysterical, bawling her eyes out. Oh, gosh. I mean beside herself. Okay. And my mom goes, What happened? She goes, Well, my guest didn't show up. Mom's like, Who did you ask? She goes, the president and she was like why why she goes because barbara bush came mom's like u.s bill clinton and kim's like no abraham lincoln and she's (laughs) devastated (laughs) and we had to explain to her oh baby he's He's dead. Like he, oh like, like but, for a while. But for, for I mean, a he's while. not just dead. He's like dead, dead, dead. dead. Like it's not, <laughs> not not a recent thing. But she had assumed because like Barbara Bush and right. like like all these like then yeah no of course like he was a president. She was a first yeah. Yeah. No, that's not how it worked, Kids babes. Saying, Devastated. Wait, so speaking of presidents, okay, so y'all know. <laughs> it, wait, what? <laughs> wait, is this the one you so, told me earlier? When it was so, this was like a week before President's Day, so it was a Thursday. And one of the kids didn't raise their hand because they just blurred out stuff. He's like, Ms. Richardson, we out of school tomorrow? And I was like, why would you be out of school tomorrow? And a girl, they're so mean to each other. Yeah. A girl goes, no, stupid. 
not talking to me. She was talking to the boy. She was like, no, <laughs> stupid. We have school on Monday for President's Day. Another boy going to say, are we out of school because we got a new president? What? No. <laughs> so uh, when he said that, another kid was like, good, because I'm tired of Donald Trump. I was like, Donald Trump isn't even the president. I was like, what are y'all even talking about? I was like, Biden is the president. One of the kids gonna say, oh man, I thought Biden was still out here fighting for his spot. I was like, oh y'all shut up, be quiet. Oh. <laughs> Do y'all be working, be quiet. At least there's like the conversation critters, just like, kept going downhill. Like, no. That I was like, what me, are y'all even talking about, man? That reminded me of a conversation that literally was held about like a teacher that I worked with. Yeah. And they were like, oh, like, did you know that Miss Smith was from Canada? And um, I was like, Miss Smith's not from Canada. Like she, I think they said like what Michigan maybe. It was something somewhere up north that's like right, really right, close right, right, right. to. I don't. I don't remember which one. But I was like, she's not from there. She's from like Michigan. And they're like, yeah. Oh, Detroit. Sorry. I was like, she's oh, okay. from Detroit. <laughs> they're like, yeah, Detroit, Canada. And I was like, Detroit's not what? And then I didn't even have time to react. Another kid was like, Detroit's not in Canada. It's the smallest state in America. Oh, oh my and god. Then Oh, y'all be quiet. <laughs> another kid was like, that's not Detroit. That's Delaware. And another kid said, there's no such thing as Delaware. I'm not that stupid. And I just said, you know what? You are. Hey, oh, can, I, can I just point out? We're done. The, these are the people that are going to be taking care of us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm scarred. Someday. Someday. I'm moving to Venus. I said, you know what? I'm no. no. I'm not. I, can't, I could not be me. That's just interesting. Sometimes I'm like, do y'all even hear y'all sales when y'all talk? Now, I can relate to that one because I didn't do good in geography. Oh, okay? I, didn't I failed either. that class. So I, I probably would have been like, yeah, would Washington, D.C. is in Texas. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, I, I, there's another. Yes, no, just wait. Just wait. That. Just wait. <laughs> just wait. Another kid. Miss Rogers, I'm looking at this U.S. map and I'm like really concerned that you don't have all the states on here. What do you mean? Um, You don't have North Korea on here. Boy, what? what? Where's North Korea? Yeah, supposed to boy, what? Where's, boy, North, what? Nor where's North like, Korea supposed to be? Like, you know, somewhere near like the North and South Dakotas. That's where North and South Korea go. You know, where all the North and South states go. I'm like, we're in North Carolina. Oh my God. What? what? I what believe, believe the saying? children are. I said, yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Whitney Houston. Whitney no, Houston. Lie. Yeah, yeah. Lie. She, 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 she lied. She lied. She lied. zipped out. She's like, I was wrong by like, Telling them lies. <laughs> telling them stories. Literally oh tried gosh. to tell them those are not U.S. states. Next, you're going to tell me Vietnam isn't a state. They well, just, it's like, I, just go ahead, be quiet, big dog. You just kept on talking. Just I go just, ahead. I even had another teacher send me a very similar story, and I was like, that's how I know I need to make a, a, a story about it, like a TikTok about it, because yeah. if this is happening to many I teachers. Kids, I, I don't think kids, like, I, I'm like, do y'all hear y'all sales when y'all say stuff? Like, no, y'all just be talking like 90 miles they, a minute? They really don't. See, I have one, and this is this is my story. So I have one that, like, he he will say strange things he's a he is an a very intelligent kid yeah yeah yeah. very smart for sure like anything academic he's golden he's just very creative yeah and and <laughs> very very like i out love them there. creative types yeah he's out there so like every now and then he'll say some weird stuff in my class and i'll just be like dude what like what are you doing all right what? anyway moving right. on and then <laughs> so, like so fast all right moving on <laughs> anyway so um but at the end of the day um i have all of the after school program kids for like 10 minutes before they go upstairs to yeah. the program and he so happens to be like the stepson of another teacher in the building so he mm -hmm. goes to her room and hangs out until they leave well he started coming down to my room to like hang out with the kids yeah but instead of like, you know, just coming in, hanging out, being, you know, normal, mm -hmm. he's got to do some weird pranks to me every time. Oh, gosh. So like the one day he would he like the door was shut and he like poked his little head in the window and just stared at me through the window. That would creep me out. And then he opened the door got on all fours and crawled into my classroom. No. Wait, did you notice that he was doing this? He was trying to not be noticed, but, but like did. it was oh very gosh. obvious. Oh my so gosh. I think they're so sneaky. Yeah, he's, he's crawling across the classroom. And if you've seen my classroom in my TikToks, I have like a futon that's like folded up as a couch. He like I'll be sleep on that slinks. during my planning period. Yeah, he's like slinking under the couch and like lays there like I didn't see him. How old is he? Like Ten, what grade? Fifth grade. That's so funny. So He's like snaking around the class. That was one day. Then another day, 
he showed up with a pair of an extra pair of jeans on his head and he's walking around with this pair of jeans on his head just like parading around he had pants on yeah he had pants on he just just, had an extra pair i'm just double checking because it's like winnie the pooh in um, has this obsession with have you have any of your students had those little plastic babies yes Yes. oh my god that was like a trend for a long time i don't understand where did y'all even get these from Amazon, but he literally has a. He has a. <laughs> I didn't know because he told me. I asked him where he got it from. He has a tackle box full of those little babies. He has little little black ones. Who's authorizing he has these purchases? Blue ones. Like he has we all these the different colored babies thing and, and yo-yos, and now they have mini babies <laughs> and Shopkins. So like. he he will come in with literally a pocket full. He'll have his jacket on, just a pocket full of so plastic babies. babies and he'll that put them so all weird. around my room. Yo, I leaving a trail of babies around the school. Funniest yeah, so thing I've ever heard in my I will, life. I will walk around my classroom, and all of a sudden, out of the corner of my eye, I see a blue baby sitting on my coffee. And they and blue. Yeah, they're different uh, colors. There's a, blue there's, one, one. there's a blue one, there's a yellow tan. one, a, a t- like a tan one. Are they Italian one. bears, but babies? Yeah, pretty much. But in the like, year 2020, like the year of our Lord, we have people just putting <laughs> babies around classrooms. No, but you have, Lord. like, there were, like, some some natural skin color ones, and then there are just some weird random colored babies. And so, like, there's just literal plastic babies everywhere. And, it, like, it's now become, like, when I find Does one. he pick them up? He, yeah. When I find one, I take it. I put it on, like, my little shelf on my desk, and he's, like, excited about it. So now it's just become, <laughs> like, a search and find for Mrs. Wooly to find these dang babies all over my classroom. Oh, this is. Where's Waldo? <laughs> the yeah. Where's Waldo? Where's the baby? baby? <laughs> where's baby? It, it's an interactive where's Paul down. Oh my freaking god! <laughs> Choose your own he adventure. Different every time. Like it's oh. harder to find him. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know. You made me think of a story that my friend. This happened to one of my teacher besties. Um, when he was a substitute teacher, so like before he was actually a classroom teacher, he was subbing, and in the office, before he even got to the classroom, the administrative staff was like, just wanted to let you know, this is the worst seventh grade class our school has ever seen. Why do people say that? Every year. Every year. I hate when people say that. Why don't you tell a sub that? But they might not, like, but here's the thing, and and, and, you know, for a sub it might be different, but like, I hate when people come up and they say like, oh, you got the worst class coming up. Why are you doing that to me? They might be ratchet, but I'm the patron saint of ratchet kids. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> leave them alone. Right. I'm assuming these are like high school age. No, oh. these are middle schoolers. Uh, I mean, but That's, like I will never teach middle school. I cannot. I can't. Mm-mm. I, middle I, school is a different beast. It like, really I, is. I'm on I the can't. border of middle school. Like teaching fifth grade. Like when I was in fifth grade, fifth grade was considered middle school, and now it's intermediate whatever so yeah it's like it's pretty much the border like you're on that that line where kids are starting to get into like middle school behaviors but like they're still children and they want it like they act like babies sometimes so like i like that grade level but do not put me in six seven eight because no. i will mm-hmm. i will die i, I'll like take I love sixth grade i, love I can't stand I, know, I, don't want anything course, I want to go six. back to sixth grade so bad <laughs> i think mm-hmm. middle schools i like what i like about elementary and especially the young one maybe middle school it's like Kids will tell you their parents' entire business Man, without will they skipping ever. a beat and have no idea. The uh-huh. amount of kids I've had, like, uh, Mr. Wilmums, uh, my dad, uh, he's sleeping on the couch by now because uh, mom found him <laughs> riding his bicycle with Aunt with Aunt Julie. And oh, I'm like, oh, like no. all the time. I'm like, the, my, my favorite, my <laughs> favorite one though is I had a, a student and he comes in very concerned and he's like, Mr. Wilmum, you got a fever? I said no. I said that's so weird. And then he was like, but you you feeling okay? Yeah, I feel fine. So then I'm like, I guess I look like crap today. And then uh, he was like, uh, so William, you got you got a baby? I said, I don't have a baby. You got kids? I said, I nope, don't don't have kids. Okay, well, my my dad said that you uh you you, you that you, that you're a sick father. And it was like trying to say this. I'm like, what are you? What is your dad saying? He goes, uh, my daddy and my uncle Tom were looking at your pictures on Instagram, and he said that you a hot daddy. And I was like, what? Oh. And he said, no. and I was like, don't, nope, 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 nope. Uh-uh. Um, and uh-uh. so that was the most uncomfortable conversation because that man is married to a woman. <gasps> and he was asking you a lot of questions. He oh, was trying and, to and figure the, out the and answer he just, to his the, And he's just like, I remember him like looking up at me and just like so concerned. Like, oh, Mr. Wilmum, uh, you got a fever? <laughs> I was like, no. Like, what is, what is this? And he it was just. to know. I know. I was like, does he, did, is there a rumor going on? I have like COVID or something? Like at oh my, my stu- God. <laughs> it was by far, I was just like, oh, I can never tell their, their, their they parents. Say, that they just say stuff. Oh, they just listen. I think, I think they're just like listen to see i'm gonna i'm gonna oh yeah they're I'm little sponges yeah they just one of my kids one day was like 
Miss Richardson, I think my I think my daddy and his fiance got trust issues. I was like, <laughs> let's pause my English lesson yeah. to talk about this. And <laughs> just blurted it out about. in front of the entire class. I was like, why 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 do you say that? She said, because they got both of them got Life three sixty on their phone, and who be having Life three sixty on their phone unless they got trust issues? Like what? why you really not wear each other's at all times? Inform me, what is Life three sixty? It like lets parents track their kids. It let like it not just parents, but it, like whoever has it on their phone, you can yeah. like. Like oh, my twin and her tracker. husband, yeah. Like, my twin and her husband have it. What's the difference between Life Three Hundred and Sixty and Find Friends? Oh, I don't know what Find Friends is. It's an iPhone. Anyone like, that thing. has an iPhone has. Well, it. maybe maybe Three Hundred and Sixty is for if you don't have an iPhone. It just tells maybe. their location. I mean, it's just an app that tells yeah. their location. Okay. But she was like really adamant about. it. I was like, okay, so Girl, that's moving for you. on. <laughs> I was like, it's but really she really, I mean, she really needed yeah. to talk about that I oh guess. i will always put down the book and i will always all ears if you're going to spill me some some parent tea spill that you that hot. you heard the other day spill oh I'm all ears. in high school it's a little different like they'll still they'll still throw their parent under the bus absolutely all the time but they it's more so, so more throw, intentional right yeah. it's intentional but they will more so throw each other under the bus you'll never guess what Susie did i don't they want so to mean know to each other. Oh, yeah. i don't oh, yeah. want to know like they'll tell me like kids that i thought were the most saintly and innocent and blah blah blah, and i find out they have an entire double life over the weekends i don't want to know, I don't that. know that why do you want to tell know, me know. you know what i hate though i no. freaking hate snapchat so many fights happen in my school because kids be talking about what? each other on snapchat and i cannot stand it i'm like snapchat it's has caused more drama I cannot stand it. I'm like, she like, she was talking about me. How do you even know? I seen it on Snapchat. Somebody sent it to me on Snapchat. Like, if somebody gets to fighting, it's on Snapchat. Is Snapchat if somebody, the new top eight of uh, the, the MySpace I don't know, top but eight? I'm you, about sick and tired of you Snapchat. You just made me think of the most creative student I've ever witnessed in my life. Yeah. And like, what? Okay, so. When I was student teaching, mm -hmm. um, this I don't know really how it worked because like I don't I haven't used Snapchat in like a decade. I've been right. with Avery for eight years at right, this point. Right, right. Um, but like I guess the the students made a Snapchat for the school, and if the kids yeah, the like kids be roasting them teachers oh, on Snapchat, like seriously, and if they if they posted a Snapchat <laughs> and tagged the school Snapchat, the school Snapchat account would like repost it, right? Wait, were they bad Snapchat? It was like. Would the school watch them first? And then, like the it was the school, school teachers didn't them. have access. So like, who was the reposting it? I, the kids. Oh, How did they have God. access to the, the school kids Snapchat? Made it. The, the kids, kids made, made the it. school Snapchat and right? then would tag the school. Oh, school right. Snapchat. See, the I thought you said. I, 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 I thought you were saying the super team. The super team. So that's like a bad idea. So like obviously the teachers and the admin kept tried to keep an eye on like what was posted to see like. Because, you know, they would try to take like, photos of It's like bad Gossip things Girl, happening. but Snapchat. Yes. yes. Like Gossip Girl, but Snapchat, I really need right? to watch Gossip Snap Girl. And so this one kid took a Bojangles cup, a completely empty Bojangles cup, and taped his what vape to the end of it. It's like fast food. It's, a real, it's like KFC it's or fast Popeyes food. or something like that. He, but not as good. That I'm chicken ain't got no seasoning North. on it. He don't taped Bojangles. his vape. You already know Bojangles chicken ain't good. He, he taped his vape to the end of the straw. So that he could literally sit there smoking in class. These kids sneak Where does the smoke not, go? And how do you he get the smoke out the vape? Oh, it's cold. He, I guess, I don't know. A lot of kids, they think that they're slick, and a lot of te a lot of older teachers don't understand. Like when they smell they, freaking fruit you'll loops just, in the you'll class, just see them going like, they don't know. Hold on, if an older <laughs> teacher, <laughs> it, it is time, it is, it is time to retire. If an older teacher is like, where's the smoke coming from but his mouth? This was also like, like five years ago, four or five years when ago. Vapes, like, and first like, came out. Yes, when they were first, like when they were first coming out, and a lot of these kids, they would wear like really baggy jackets and just into their shoulders oh, my you friend, know my friend who works at the local high school said like they actually got an email sent out at their school like their principal said what? be aware of unusual shirt activity right like, like they, and i was like what a lot the of these teachers do not know like that. they do not understand <laughs> unusual <laughs> shirt activity i why would you what ever the word, i would why be like, write it like that and because, I don't know. Unusual and because shirt it activity. wasn't the school like the school had no access to know like where this snapchat came from no faces were in it no nothing they just knew there was a student somewhere in the school using like empty fast food restaurant okay, cups to vape in class. How not even the, the point vape how did they the get straw? like how why are they why do they get to have bojangle or any fast food high school kids they well, so you they have can, to remember yeah, like remember kids. how big my district is when you have over 2000 kids at a school not everyone fits into a cafeteria i'm not talking about it i'm not even saying a cafeteria 
At what point do you say he has had a Bojangles cup for eight hours today? I don't think there's soda in there anymore. Well, you, we only see them for 90 minutes at a time. I don't, I, you know what? <laughs> you I'm know what? I'm, I'm calling school district. I'm telling you. Unusual, unusual shirt saying, activity. Unusual Bojangles activity. Unusual Bojangles activity. Bojangles one day, just play the it. next, and then there's it. different ones every single time. So let's have some real talk. Because okay. I know Honest yep. Teacher Vibe is going to always be honest. I'm so ready. let's have a real talk conversation. If you would have said to that kid, why are you vaping out of that cup? He would have said, I ain't even do nothing. I, I'm yep. not. I'm not. Mm-hmm. You know you saw him with your own eyes because you looked at it with your good eye. You, I saw what you was doing. There's still smoke above his head. Right. <laughs> not the bad eye. The good eye. like Fruit Loops yeah. in my classroom. <laughs> I know I didn't eat Fruit Loops and this I morning. I just farted, so it's not <laughs> me. Oh, oh, my gosh. I, can't, I cannot stand when you tell, like, when you see them do something and they're oh like, Oh, my gosh. And they me. blatantly deny it. Don't right. gaslight me, you little baby gaslighter. I saw yeah. you. And sometimes they, they drove me so crazy with this that I would know I saw them do something. And they would say, I didn't do that. Like, they would, like, seriously oh. deny it. They drove me so crazy with that that I would see them do something and instead of calling it out right then and there, mm-hmm. I would watch them for 10 to 15 more seconds so, so I could make sure I know what I saw. Mm-hmm. And so then, like, that extra 10 to 15 seconds was for me because they were Validating. literally, like, one time Tristan stabbed somebody in the hand with a pencil and I was like, Tristan, why you stab that boy with that pencil? I ain't stabbing him with no pencil. Boy, I just saw, I, I just saw you stab him with a pencil. Miss Tristan, that wasn't even me. So, that's funny. <laughs> Who so was is it, it? So it must be a ghost in here. <laughs> okay, must be what a, did I say? Children a, are... Possessed. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, so, 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 Tristan, is it a ghost in here? He like, Miss Richardson, it must be a ghost in here because that wasn't even me. Oh my! I'm a ghost. You went to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, a ghost. I'm a ghost. I'm like, you went to that extent to lie, bro. I just saw you, like. When you cut, cut, I had a student one time. Hand. She she had beautiful like long brown hair. She picks it up, takes a pair <gasps> of scissors, no, 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 and no. cuts. So it's not even like you oh, know like the baby bang or this. So God. it's like oh. baby like like I'm talking like Ooh. Courtney Cox and scream bangs here. If Peyton and then did full that, Mohawk. I would literally die because my daughter Mohawk. has beautiful Opposite. hair. And I, I said, did you did you cut your hair? Oh my God. No. Oh, I said, scissors in the hair in, hand. In, in her hand. Did you cut your? No, I didn't cut my hair. Don't lie to me. Like, I mean, as it's like, she's holding the strength. <laughs> yeah, when I'm you like, get mad at you, maybe looking at you crazy. It's, a, it's like okay. a tooth. Do you save okay. it? Do you put in a bag? Maybe they can reattach the hair. I, I knew would, that pair Y'all, I'm not kind as to, a mom. I, have to I would admit, literally freak out. I have to admit. So when I, was in, <laughs> when I was in fourth grade, um, before slime was like a cool thing, like oh my gosh. when I was in fourth grade, we, <laughs> had, <laughs> no, we, had, we had Nickelodeon like sl- yeah. go- goop or whatever it was slime. called. Good, slime. It was slime. Yeah. yeah. Slime okay. time. Slime. No, 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 not the green one, but oh. it was like it. It was made by Nickelodeon, but it came in like different like fruit shapes. Like there was a, a oh. grape container and you took the grape. Do you see you? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was like, goop. We just I've got we just got a fact check. Okay, so, <laughs> another so I, I had the Nickelodeon gack and I was playing with it and my mom's like, Okay, it's time to go to bed. Put the gack on the dresser, you're not playing with it, get in your bed. I said, Okay, mom, so I get in bed. You're and like a I'm, she was a good, yeah, I was a, a good follower. kid. I was a good kid. So she did like, not gack back. I, I was uh, yeah, I was a little goody two shoes. <laughs> so I <laughs> I'm in bed. My mom goes downstairs because, like, I would go to bed at, uh, bed at like nine o'clock, and my mom would go back downstairs and watch TV. Right, and right, right. you know, I knew my bedroom's at the end of the hall. My mom's right. not hearing what I'm doing, so I I, this is gonna be bad. I, I I snuck out of bed, grabbed the gack, and I'm sitting in bed playing Lauren. with the gack, and I'm like, you know, it'd be great. I'm gonna flip it like a pizza, and so I threw it in the air. And it lands on the top of my head. No. And if you ever played with that stuff, it's you know it's not coming that. out. So I, I grab this giant chunk of gack. I get most of it out, but right in the oh middle my of gosh, my head Lauren. is this little chunk that would not come out. So what does my, I want to say, <laughs> you know what I'm about to say. I knew what does my stupid went. self do? I go in the bathroom no. and I'm like, no. I'm going to cut it out. No one will ever know. They're not gonna. How are they? Nobody's gonna know. 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 (laughs) So I take the scissors and I go. She she goes to the room. Oh. What do I do with it? Throw it right in the trash 100%. can in the bathroom. Get rid of the evidence. 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 Yeah, I didn't mama, get rid of the yeah, evidence. Mama's changed I should have burnt it. Not you. So <laughs> then so they I could smell burnt it. hair uh-huh. instead. Then just flush it. <laughs> Ten-year-old yeah. actually <laughs> burns her house down yeah. trying to get rid of yeah. gack. The <laughs> next, the next morning, my mom comes to wake me up, and of course, I have like the stupid little thing stuck off the top of my head, and she goes, "Did you cut your hair?" And I was like, "No." No. 
She's like, <laughs> Lauren Nicole, did Ooh. you cut your? And you know when you get the middle Ours name in trouble. Middle yeah. yeah. Oh. She's like, did you cut your hair? And I'm like, Mom, I got gags stuck in my hair, and I was afraid you were gonna get mad at me for playing with the gags. So I like, I chopped it off. <laughs> I just cut it. And she, she was like. Well, that was stupid. We could have just washed your hair and yeah. got it out. Now you have this stupid piece of hair on the could top you of your the head. Hand could you have and it? what it makes it worse was that it was like career day at school. So like you had to come no. dressed as she what you wanted to be. I wanted to be a singer. So no. like my mom... <laughs> I'm you can be Bjork, like honey. My mom, like, like I dressed like Britney Spears, and my mom took my bangs because I had bangs at the time. She took my bangs and like pinned them straight back over that little bald spot on the top of my head. I had to wear my hair like that for a solid four months before any hair grew oh, back and was okay. like long enough. Oh, okay. It was pre- it was pretty bad, Excuse but like you no. know, See, with the older kids, you have like the different kind of gaslighting. Like it, they don't they won't cut their hair. But I remember I had one kid who like very clearly took an assignment out of the tray yeah. that had another kid's name on it didn't even erase just crossed out the other kid's name get creative, and wrote people. it at wrote his name at the top and i got it and i looked at it and i was like did you take connor's paper and just like cross his name out no but like you crossed it out in marker I can see it. Like, I right. see his name. Because, you know, like, oh when it, there's pencil under marker, right. you can yeah. still see it. Like, right. also, I see like those battles, you just don't fight. You just give the kid the zero. And right. Right. Like, like, yeah. I know what you did. Why would you like? Why <laughs> like, would you have to cross out your name ever? Like, did you you mess up on your right. name? Right. <laughs> right. You <can't> exactly. <laughs> so what you're right. telling me is you're in high school and you can't spell you, your name? You forgot to spell right. it what? correctly. I'm like, can you tell me what your assignment, like, what your assignment was on? I forgot. You just turned it in yesterday. No, no. I forgot, but I, that's my paper. Bro, I they will lie with a straight face. What do you Wild. like? Me? Y'all lie yeah. for a living and will lie with a oh, yeah. straight face. Oh, for sure. I'm like, what in the world? I'm like, how y'all just lie like that? Kids because don't li- you know? Kids are literally wild, man. Parents' babies yeah. would never do that. Yeah, no, never. But they are perfect. Then the, cl- then the class like teams up too, and we'll gas like like they will oh. all come to. I, I had that one him. That one ain't him. No. That one him. We had a case my first year teaching. I'm in the classroom. It was a stre- It was a stressful day, and we had we were supposed to have a class of twenty. We had nine kids in this class, oh, and God. these nine kids they never added more children to our class because it was AM PM class, right? right? And this was the PM class. They never added more kids because they were just like, we get it. Like yeah. it's you'll stay with nine. So we have group. They have free time. They have groups, and I'm sitting there, and I was getting ready to go to the the circle time carpet, mm-hmm. and there's a perfectly coiled magical turd on the floor. <gasps> And I tell you, every single one of those kids had to have a meeting somewhere that we are pre-K. There's two teachers in the room and nobody saw what happened. None of their teacher did. I can see their little Neither class te- meeting. Okay, you three. You go to dramatic play. You distract Mr. Williams. Yeah. You guys, you guys are on blocks. You get over right. there. You it was like Ms. some rug rat Tommy in, Pickles. Guys. Oh they my God. Never it, was know. Like, guys. it was like one, two, like, three. It was like, it was a collective effort. Co- and so we sat there and we're like, did some and we, we weren't very cute because you don't want to embarrass kids. Mm-hmm. Did someone have an accident? Okay, so somebody ha- you're gonna notice if someone like pulls came. it, and so did, okay, did, you know, did it fall down? What? To this day, I have no idea whose poop it was. Not a single. There was not a kid. Like no idea. Do you know how embarrassing it was a first year teacher to have to call the janitor? Big. Like, um, can you come clean this? Can you clean up? Uh, can you come up clean? The- There's a dookie on the ground. <laughs> Why do you and kill me when you say dookie? I don't. I, it's like there's a magic shadoobi, and I don't know what it comes from. <laughs> just, <laughs> just that. Okay. This is this is insane. Speaking of poop, okay? We I don't do have a lot of poop. Why are we speaking of poop? We don't have a lot of poop stories. I love them. I you know love what? a poop story. <laughs> Middle school, we don't have a lot of poop stories. But <laughs> we just don't. Like, we the got other, there are any. We got other stories, but we don't have a lot of poop stories. Uh, somebody sent me this story that they had they sent one of their fifth graders to the bathroom and sometimes they walk out with their book bags and it's just fast like you don't have time to be like hey leave your book bag in here so the kid took his book bag with him he was sitting on the toilet using the bathroom watching netflix on his on his school laptop i don't even know how he got on net or maybe it wasn't a school laptop but he was watching like something on his jailbroke his chromebook he jailbroke his chromebook (laughs) so this dude is in the bathroom there's nobody in there with him he had been gone for like 10 or 15 minutes teacher was like where the heck is he that dude calls the front office and tells the secretary, I'm in the upstairs bathroom on the fifth grade hall, and I, I pooped, and ain't no toilet paper in here. Can y'all bring me some? <laughs> no. That is it. I took a shanoomie, and I need some toilet paper. I mean, at least oh. he wiped. 
Galicia. No. Yeah. This is, Galicia yeah. wiped. This like, is, if I was the secretary, I'd be like, is this a prank? N- this a prank. He's trying to prank this me. This is why it's important we teach more than academics because you should be able to teach your students you always check for Shit. toilet paper before yes. going to the bathroom. Because if you have to do the little underhand Rock, thing like this out, out in public. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. So I, I know, the I don't know can, you, can you spare a square? Can you, hey, can you pass me? That but, ain't enough, man. School, I need some But what if there's out. nobody else in the bathroom? Then you're really screwed. Then you really got to squaddle waddle out the bathroom. No <laughs> <laughs> you know how you do that look. Oh, my god. I'm speaking not from experience. I'm just saying. Like, you better, <laughs> oh you better squaddle waddle fast just in case anybody comes walking in. I just, <laughs> run for your life. We have, we have two bathrooms in our classroom, right? And so they, the kids always get to come in. I taught Head Start, and those kids are the funniest kid you'll ever meet. And one of the kids comes out of the bathroom one time, and I don't know if it was because it was the um it was like the special needs classroom before we had got before we had gotten the, the room. So I don't know if maybe they got different supplies. And one of those kids are like, this school's rich. And I said, when they go, you guys have the nice toilet paper. And I was like, what? And they were like, <laughs> yeah, you can tell how much money someone has with the, the toilet paper they buy. And I, to this day, live by that standard 100%. <laughs> if, I go, if I go to someone's house, I'm like, oh, you have five ply? <laughs> okay. The Rockefellers okay, were here. Yeah. Don't use too much of that. Yeah, it's yeah. clog your oh, drains. Oh, my Dude, gosh. after the pandemic, everybody. I love them some toilet paper, yeah. man. Like, you couldn't find no toilet. Y'all was out here wiping with leaves during the <laughs> pandemic. Oh my Y'all was out here going back to the Stone Age. Y'all didn't have no toilet paper. I will take the if tissue rolled, paper if, that we had before over the Okay, leaves. if you rolled somebody's house during the pandemic, that was a crime. You going to jail. Because all that toilet paper could have been used for people that ain't got no toilet paper. How dare you waste resources? Right before the... So, I... My husband is big on, like... You'll never not need toilet paper. So when you right. go get it, Just you get buy it, yeah. the biggest pack. And I was like, that's stupid because I would just buy like a four pack. Yeah, oh so What? You only buy I, a four pack? I, I'm, why, I'm not going to walk around and display listen, to everyone. I'm buying toilet paper. I'm listen, not an I, animal. I got a husband with colitis. We buy so the buy, biggest pack so I can find. I never, never in my life. My so house then can never not have toilet paper. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to be such a jerk. And I went to the a whole store and got the biggest thing of toilet paper you can imagine. And I come home and I'm like, look what I got. Pandemic happens a week later. <gasps> <laughs> and yes. I was like, "Good thing Dr. I Van bought Boston that." was right. He was right on. Like my husband, yeah. I'm never gonna. Every time you tell me, to, so now I always buy the big pack because you know what? You never. You're like a squirrel yeah. now. I'm ashamed. No. I'm ashamed to say that I we there was no toilet paper during the pandemic, and I had to go up to the school and steal. I would have. <laughs> are you kidding me? I 100 would have done like, the same we're, thing. We're out of school. There's nobody here, and bro, it ain't no toilet paper at no store. I know y'all stuck yeah. to the teeth because we ain't nobody been at school. That's why you go to Costco. I no, because Costco I'm sure. ain't had no toilet paper. Toilet no. paper definitely has an expiration date, and you saved it because what? What Wait, if it would have stayed? Yeah, no, it does. Definitely, it does. I agree. It would it would have been stale. 1000%. So you did it the school of favor. Stale. It would have hurt your bottom. Yeah. Yeah. You know. it after it was oh, stale. oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I was really confused for I, a second. I had yes, to, I had to add all, I had to like think about that for a second. I was like, Wait, no. you eating it? What? Yes. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> <laughs> so on that note, we hope you guys have laughed as hard as we've been laughing. We love you guys. We appreciate you all and we hope you have a fabulous rest of your week bye bye my lovelies